Okay, this is a test of vinegaroon. Um, one is a very, very old, more than nine months old, ten months old mixture of vinegaroon. Um, and it's been standing just quietly in the bottle, and that's it being applied. Um, and uh, what I intend or hope I can show you is how that vinegaroon is going to result in a beautiful gray color on the leather. As opposed to, I have the same, the leather cut from the same piece, um, brand new vinegaroon that I made three days ago, and I'll show you the contrast with that. So, as I say, I've um, uh, assembled here a few different pieces of leather. This is the printed single shoulders from um, from Tandy. So let's see. Ooh, bubbles is going to cause not to happen. Okay, this is a very thinner, four to five ounce. Um, piece of leather okay and lastly this is some very thin goat uh, either goat or I must say I can't say whether it's goat or calf skin but let's see Okay, we'll have all these pieces is going to sit and um, dry out a bit uh, while I apply the new vinegaroon to the companion piece. So, the new vinegaroon, as I said, that I made three days ago with steel wool and white vinegar and... So let's see what this is going to do. This should go a nice black. And already, I think already you can see even wet, there is a difference between those two. So let me do that to this piece too. That's the companion of that one. And let's see what it does. You'll see the color changes faster. And again, I can already see a pitch black where the other one was gray. So, there we go. And Okay, and it was the last, the calfskin. Okay, right, there's that one. So, before I compare them to each other, what I do want to just warn, I see so many people on um, social media saying that, oh, you have to neutralize this with baking soda and all of that. No, you don't. Please don't use baking soda to neutralize vinegaroon. Um, the baking soda is too alkaline for the process and it will detan your leather. The leather fibers will deteriorate over time. Okay, so let's compare these guys. Okay. The first set is almost dry. There you can see on this leather the difference between the old and the new vinegaroon. The old one, very nice slate gray that it's giving me there. Um, and I will take photographs of these two once they dry and I've got a finish on them. 
but you can see the difference there between an old and a new vinegaroon. Um, let's see these two. There we go, too. That piece is drying out a bit slower, but a nice light gray in contrast with the total black. Let's see this one. There, too. They still, they're drying a bit slower than the others, but um, you can see the difference between those two as well. And the last two, which I think is calf, you can see the calf starting to dry at the bottom is a very light, light gray uh, that you're getting already there uh, as it dries out. Um, now, having said that, you can intensify colors with vinegar and you can intensify the black, meaning you can, you can make absolutely sure that you get a totally pitch black by uh, really, really um, uh, dipping the leather in the vinegar. Room. In other words, good coverage. Coverage that means that the chemical reaction is given total uh, maximum uh, time to work with each other. So I've dipped this point in, in vinegar room to show you if there's any difference between just one layer painted on with a brush and really dipping it in there. Okay, I'm going to stop this and I'll take photos and um, then we'll, I'll have a uh, posting on my blog about this.